Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to boot into safe mode on Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to right click on the start button and then left click on run. I'm going to type in msconfig, so m-s-c-o-n-f-i-g, left click on OK. Now you want to go and left click on the boot tab, and under boot options you want to check mark and site safe boot, left click on apply and OK. You will have to restart your computer so close out of any open applications, and then left click on restart. Okay, so once you guys are done with doing whatever you were going to do, go ahead and right click on the start button again, left click on run, again make sure msconfig is typed in here, and then left click on OK. Now you want to go back to the boot tab, just left click on the boot tab one time, and uncheck safe boot, and then left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer. Okay guys, now that we're back into Windows, another way to access safe mode would be to left click on the start button one time. And then on the right side you want to left click on the power icon or power options icon next to your username. And then you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard while left clicking on restart. So again, hold down the shift key on your keyboard while just left clicking on restart one time. Left click on Troubleshoot. Now 
Left click on advanced options. And then left click on startup settings, change windows startup behavior. It's going to say restart to change windows options, such as, and then one of the options is enable safe mode. Left click on restart. Now you either want to tap the F4, F5, or F6 key, depending on what you are looking to achieve. Most people probably want to tap the F5 key, and that's the function 5 key, so it's just one key up at the top of your keyboard. I'm going to tap F5. Again, you could do F4 or F6. Check your options, as your options might be different on your computer. Okay, and now all you have to do to get back into normal Windows is just restart, and that's as simple as that. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.